most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, you wanted to talk today about how to prevent a, break, a broken heart? Absolutely, Bob. Why should you get a broken heart when you can prevent it? Preventive medicine. There we go. I, okay. you know, because since we haven't figured out how to fix a broken heart, we might as well at least, you know, tell you how to prevent it. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, seriously, we're talking about how to prevent a heart attack or an MI, what we call it in the medical field. And Car using the Carvonin? The Carvonin method, or we're going to talk about the more simple method as well, but maybe how to do it right so that if you go out and exercise, you know you're getting some benefits to your heart and your lungs to help prevent that heart attack. Brad, I just saw some new people out there watching us. So, and they're uh, probably wondering, what are we talking yeah. about broken heart? Our, our, our longtime viewers know exactly what we're right. talking about. Um, if you are new to our channel, please take a second <laughs> to subscribe to us. We have a subscribe button here on the right side of you and the left side of Brad. We provide videos on how to stay healthy and fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Excellent, Bob. Okay. The heart problem, the heart issue. We're talking about cardiovascular health to help minimize your risk for a heart attack. How do you do it? Sitting on the couch, watching TV, eating potato chips with a beer is not going to work. So my method's not working. No, your method is not working, Bob. <laughs> okay, but if you do all go out and get some exercise uh, for a period of time, lifting weights, by the way, if you're lifting weights, you can get aerobic, but chances are you're not going to get cardiovascular benefits. Has to be that benefits. high intensity. Right. Uh, for the most part, you're not going to get it as easily as if just going out for a brisk walk. Sure. That's probably a minimum amount of exercise. If you walk slowly, it's not going to work. You need to get a little faster or running, swimming, um, biking, those kinds of things will all get cardiovascular. But how hard or how low of intensity do you need to go? Because you want to go out there, you want to get it right, you don't want to overdo it, you don't want to underdo it, so we're going to show you. And really, is it we're talking about heart rate, Brad? Right. I mean, that's the best measure. Exactly. We're, so. we're going off a of heart rate, and anybody, I should say anybody, most anybody can check their heart rate. Okay, there's a few different ways you can do it. I like to go here in the carotid artery. Sure. And what I do is, I right there is your throat, and then there's this muscle here, and there's a kind of a hollow spot. Don't push really hard, you just lightly push your finger in there. And if you're quiet and still, and you get good at it, you can feel it quite easily. Mm -hmm. Bob, how do you like to check yours? Do you do it here? I, I often go down here, although you're right, it's better up there. Uh, I'm, it's I have whatever. good palpation skills, I can feel it down yep, there. Yeah, here, some people do yeah. it here. A lot of people do it there, wherever. Find the place where you like to do it, you can clearly feel it. You can it. get a heart rate monitor too. Right, around the chest. right, I've got yeah. one. It's a little bit of a hassle, but they work yeah. well once you got them on. Uh, so the first thing you wanna find out is your resting heart rate. Bob, why don't you stand up? Oh, just wait. We got our big clock here. Oh yeah, we don't so. go with that digital stuff. We still <laughs> use analog here. Okay, so, um, go ahead, go ahead. Just as I'm talking, get a 15 second heart rate. We'll multiply it times four. So your resting heart rate is something you wanna find. Typically it's between 60 and 100 on most people. If you're athletic and uh, maybe a runner, uh, that type of thing, you could get as low as 40 beats per minute. Uh, but that's, you know, if you're not running or you're not aerobic and you got 40 beats per minute, you better see a doctor. Mine was uh, 64 right 64. there. 64. Yeah. Okay, now I want you to lay down quiet, Bob, and relax. Now that was his resting heart rate, or what we thought was his resting heart rate. Really, it really wasn't. I just really ran went, over there. Yep, he walked, ran over there, so to speak. He was standing, he was thinking, moving around. He had some tension in his body. That raises your heart rate. If you want to get your true resting heart rate, this is the way you should do it. When you open your eyes in, more, in the morning, getting out of bed, and you relax, assuming you didn't have a bad dream, then you're going to check your heart rate again, and that do that three days in a row and average it if you really want to be technical. You want this, Bob? Yeah. Okay. We'll be quiet for Bob because he's checking his heart rate. We don't want to throw his resting into some kind of sporadic problem. Okay. What did you get? I got 14, so that's 46. I went to 14 56. times 56. 56. 56. All right. So I'm really good at That's quite a difference yeah. from when you were standing. Right. So it is important that you get your resting heart rate accurately. Okay. Now, Bob, you can stand up. Now we're getting to the beef. You're going to have to get your pencils out, maybe a calculator, at least some scratch paper. And can you hold on to this, Bob? Yes, I sure can. You just want to hold it or should I get something? No, more? I'll hold it. All, All right. right. Good. All right. 
<clears throat> Here we go. All right, now we get into tricky math. A little bit tricky. Now, if you want to use a simple method, we're going to tell you why the simple method maybe isn't quite as accurate. It's right here. Focus in here. Simple method. Take 220 minus your age, and that's going to come up with your max heart rate. So if we do that, uh, we're going to use someone 55 years old. I'm 56, but 55. But I'm 54. We average Yeah, we 55. average out 55. There we go. <laughs> the, the math is easier this way. Right here, we got a max heart rate calculated using the simple method at 65. So let's look at the Carvonin method. You take 207 well, times. You, did you want to finish that first? No. Nope, nope. Okay. We're right. going to go a step at a time. All right. I calculated this last night before I went to okay. bed. You take 207 times the sum or the amount of 0.7, that's 70% of your age. Okay, and so I just, 207 is the number she has. Right, Right. that's okay. a given number. That's a given number. Then you put 0. 0.7 times and 55. 55. It sounds a little complicated, but if you work through it slow, it's okay if you're so math you first person. multiply these two and then multiply it times that, Exactly, right? so. yep. And that gives you 168. Really, no big difference. Quite close. Yeah, yeah. close enough doesn't matter. Okay, so those numbers are fine. Now, if you want to go 50%, a good rule of thumb to start out aerobic exercise is 50% of your max, okay? So if we take 165 times 0.5, which is six, you know, 50%, we come up with 83 beats per minute. Right. Okay, now Carvonin yeah. takes it the next step further, and it is more accurate. We take the, let's look up to this chart up here now. We've got your resting heart rate is here, your max heart rate is here. So we know Bob's is 58. We know his max uh, heart rate is 168. How do we get max heart rate? Right here. Oh. The, the first number. Oh, the oh that's right. Yep. Right. The Carvonin method. Yep, the Carvonin right. method. Good question, Bob. Then you subtract. You've got to figure out how many beats per minute there are between here and here. You take 58 minus 168, and you come up with 110. That's known as your reserve heart rate. So hang gotcha. on with me here, okay? I got you so far. Okay, now we want to take half of that. Okay, so down here we got the reserve heart rate of 168 minus the 58. And we got 110. Right. Now we're going to take that, half of that times 0.5, we got 55. Right. So we know 55 is here, and we're going to add on that 58. So that we know is 50%. 58 is the resting, and we add the 55, and that'd make it 50%. Right, yep, so that's right here. 58 plus 55, and it gives you your target heart rate of 113 being 50%. Now, these two numbers are way different. Are way different. So, so the Carvonin method, if you really want to be accurate, that's the way you should go. Look, there's quite a difference. So you're, under the Carvonin method, they're saying you need to work a little harder to get to 50% of right, your Right, right. Yeah, now, yeah. if you're first getting into this and you just want to get some exercise, I'm saying the, simple, the simple method, method is, is very good and sure. stick with it. Once you get a good habits down, then you can go on to the next, going to the Carvonin method. After a few months of doing this and it's easy and it's like, you know, maybe I should go with a little more accurate, okay? And I would say you really want to make sure if you are older, you want to make sure you check this out with your doctor before you start any exercise program, especially if you have been um, pretty idle. Because, right. um, I mean, you, you may not, they may want you to start off a lot slower right. than that we'd want you to start off with. Big red flags. If you go for a walk and you've been sedentary and you become short of breath, you feel heaviness in the chest, you need to go to the doctor right there. Just keep Go to your car and jump in there and go to the doctor. I would doctor. say even, Brad, if you take your heart rate and it's really irregular, you know, mm -hmm. boom, 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 you know, right. I, I think that's a good time to, right. to, to check it out and go to the doctor. The only thing that. you should feel when you do this is just normal fatigue, maybe a little sweat, some, you know, your breathing should go up a little bit. That, that's it. So, uh, again, simple method is perfect. As a matter of fact, if you go with a person, you should be able to talk to have a conversation with the person next to you. At 50%, you think they yep. you still should be able to that's talk? That's what they say. If you cannot talk, you're going too fast, okay. too hard. Well, that's a great guideline. Then. Right. So that, right. That, you know, that um, takes all these numbers and puts it off to the side if you're kind of getting turned off by this. <laughs> and by the way, also make sure that you start off slow. I mean, you don't have to, don't try to, you know, eat the whole pie in one you know sitting you know take off a slice each exactly. day exactly because so to speak. in theory you should be going off for 30 minutes at this 50 percent to get good cardiovascular uh, benefits however if you're just getting started 
Yeah. I'm saying a five or ten minute walk to start is good. Yeah. And then each week add another five if you, minutes. If you're really yeah. uh, disabled or you know deconditioned, re- deconditioned is what the word I was looking for. You might want to just say today I'm going to walk for a minute. Right. You know, I mean, just a little bit of something's yeah. been there, a whole lot of nothing. That's right. On the other hand, if you're more athletic, you've been running for a while, you definitely want to use the Carvonin method. And then you're probably going to go instead of 50%, you're probably going to go between 60 and 80% if you've got a good, strong base for a year or so of you know, good. cardiovascular benefits. So, again, going back to the beginning of the video, Bob, I really think for. Preventing of breaking, you know, that broken heart. heart. This is this is part of it, Bob. It all fits together, doesn't it? Well, we're going to give you our standard line here, Dan. We can fix just about anything. <laughs> Except for that broken heart. But we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, right here, we got the numbers. 